Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD Tutorials. Here I'll make a gear with AutoCAD 3D and I'll try to make it as quickly as possible. So let's begin it. So I'll start with the construction line. First use a construction line and select any point and make two construction line which are perpendicular to each other. Now let's go to circle, use the intersection point as the center, click it and make a circle with a radius of uh, uh, let me see uh, okay change it to diameter and enter a value of 3.333 now let's go to circle again select the center and this time again go to diameter for D and now enter a diameter of 3 okay here we have the two circles again circle diameter and now enter a diameter of 2.571 units okay so here we have our three circles all the circles are concentric and they all emerge from single point single center point okay now let's use offset tool and apply offset distance of 0.047 units select this construction line offset it on the both sides up and down now let's go to offset tool again and this time enter a distance of 0 0.1309 unit now select the central line offset it upwards offset it downwards remember to select the central line only go to offset again now this time enter a offset distance of 0 0.107 units and now offset these uh, construction like this one in the left and right okay so here we have all the offsets now now let's go to trim and just trim all the unnecessary lines we don't need these two uh, profiles so delete it we don't need this construction line either delete it this one also delete it okay a clean diagram what we have here now go to polar array select this small segment of arc use the same center which from which we have drawn these two circles and to make the selection more easier you can select shift and right click and select center from that pop-up menu now in the number of items select 18 in this array and press enter make sure this is not associative this array is non-associative or you can explode it to make it non-associative if it is now let's click on this point using three point arc and connect these three points go to three point arc tool again and connect these three points please be careful while connecting these points we don't need these construction lines either so erase them all okay here we have a completely clean drawing now go to fillet tool and now I'll select a radius and uh, value of radius is 0 0.062 units select multiple again and make fillet on these two corners now let's go to trim tool and trim this circle okay we have a profile ready now all we need to do is delete everything that is not necessary in this drawing so select this using a window okay delete it and just select these two remaining portions also carefully don't select anything else and now select it all and join it using join tool like this okay here we have now let's make an array of this so go to polar array select the segment enter now again go to the center of the circle and enter number of items 18 okay like this make sure it is non associative as i've already told you okay now we'll connect these two points using blend curve so go to blend curve the tool which i've shown here on the screen and click on any of the two corners and it will connect something like this now this one is a spline and you need to convert it to a arc or a polyline so double click and select convert to polyline and enter precision of 10 select the default precision of 10 now it's a polyline again go to this polar array select the segment and select the center now number of items 18 and here we have the complete profile of gear now we need to join it so select it all 
press J enter or you can use the join tool okay it's still not connected so select all again go to join tool okay now it's completely connected so we have our gear profile now we'll make some other features of the gear so let's go to circle tool again and this time I'll enter a diameter of 0.5 units now go to circle tool again specify the center point and this time I'll enter a diameter of 1 unit go to circle tool again and now okay, diameter of 2 units ok so here we have all the internal profiles now you need to just remove this one the circle is not at all needed here we have the 2d drawing of gear complete now let's go to the 3d view and select the press pull tool and make sure you select this profile so click anywhere inside this area and now press pull it to a height of 0.5 unit and enter okay now let's change it to shaded view or hidden view where you can just find it okay hidden view looks good so let's keep it at hidden view now let's select press pull tool again this time select this profile and enter a height of 0.5 units again this profile and enter a height of 0.25 units okay and here we have now half of the gear is almost done now we need to make the another part of gear that is the mirror image of here so I'll just orbit it okay and <clears throat> you can just turn this grid off okay here's the top view and okay I think I just forgot the keyway so let's make the keyway first make sure you turn off O snap marker and make a rectangle you need don't need to be precise make a rectangle of any length on this place okay let's select that rectangle and uh, ok click enter and now just drag it down and click anywhere anywhere so that it passes completely through that profile select subtract solid subtract select the cylindrical profile and now select this rectangular shape and enter and here we have the keyway now we need to join these different different parts which this gear is made up of so for that I'll go to union select it all and press enter now it's a completely single unit so let's go to fillet tool and now I'll apply a fillet of 0.125 so go to radius 0.125 and select this corner and this corner and press enter we are now adding only the fine details of this gear you can skip it the gear is already done but if you want to just add these fine details go ahead and do it now let's go to 3d mirror select our object press enter and select xy plane specify a point at the center select no for delete source object and here we have our complete gear profile let's change it to shaded view and here it is you can render it and make it as you like thank you for watching and have a nice day